Come downstairs. Come downstairs with me. We need to have a talk. God, I don't even care if this lighting is good or bad. Okay, and it's awful. Um, how about here? Well. God, this is the most random place in my house to be sitting. This is like my fucking cat gate for the cats so that if I wanna like block them out of a space. It's actually been here for like months and I haven't used it, so I should probably put it somewhere else. Here's what happened. I ordered jeans. I mean, I ordered a lot of stuff during quarantine that I didn't need. Obviously right now, you know, we can't go in and try things on to make sure that they're perfect before we purchase them. We're kind of just shooting in the, the dark, shooting blanks or whatever. Shooting into the, shooting into the dark. We're kind of shooting into the dark. Is that what it is? I ordered jeans, which was super exciting, but we have some bad news. I liked every pair of jeans I got except for one pair. I'm just not a huge fan of the wash. So I was like, no problem, I'll just go return them. Well, I can't return them. Um, but there's a little bit more bad news and it's actually that I accidentally ordered two pairs of the same pants and I could not return either of them. So I had an idea. I'm not the most like creative, patient person when it comes to art. I leave that to my father, Chamberlain Paintings. I kind of want to customize my jeans. <sighs> Crazy! Not really, but I am gonna take these pairs of jeans and I'm gonna kind of revamp them. I'm actually gonna show you them before so that you kind of can see like what they look like and then you can see, you know what I mean? We actually have a few issues here. Number one, they're much too long, so I might end up cutting them, which is terrifying to me because that's a permanent decision. I just think that the wash wasn't what I expected and that's why we will be doing the big revamp. So let me show you what equipment I have purchased. A bunch of fabric paint. This is gonna be really fun, but also very scary. Fabric markers in white. Probably won't even use those. Black dye. And then this like color fixative that I guess makes it so that the color stays better. I got some sponges, cause I read online that that's helpful when you're dyeing clothes. And then I got some buckets. Step number one is we're dyeing a pair of these pants. So we should probably get into that cause that's gonna take a long time. I hope that what you learned from this video is that something can be really sad and really bum you out and it's all about what you do with it, right? Cause I was really bummed out that I bought these jeans and I didn't like them. But now I might have, potentially, or potentially not, but we'll take the risk, I might have a cool new pair of pants that are custom made, one of a kind, by yours truly. So, it's all about the spirit. Um, let's get into it. Bad news. So I just read the directions. I'm, okay, listen, I am so sorry. I am so fucking lazy, like when it comes to these things. So I'm really starting to question if I should just paint all over these pants instead of dyeing them because listen to how complicated. Wear rubber gloves. That already, that step, I don't really wanna go get the gloves uh, from wherever they are. I don't even know if I have any. Shake well before using. All right, that one's done. Add hot water to a plastic bucket, stainless steel or stainless steel pot. Ideally, water temperature should be 140 degrees. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know if it's 140 degrees? Am I supposed to fucking get a thermometer? Like, I don't have that. Add one teaspoon of liquid dish detergent. Add one cup of salt dye bath for cotton. Add one cup of big vinegar. I don't even have these things. Should I just like do it wrong? No, I'm not gonna give up. I want to, but I won't. So it says to add a cup of salt. Why? Why? I'm putting my hair up. I need to like get down and dirty here. So this bucket is absolutely too small. I'm not gonna measure anything because I don't have the patience for that. So I'm just gonna wing it. It's probably good. A little bit of dish soap. I don't know why the fuck they would want that, but okay. So I'm just taking this black dye. I'll like eyeball it. Let's see. So it says every pound of fabric, three gallons of hot water. God, I don't, I don't know. That's a lot of dye. So we're just gonna start putting the jeans inside. Some of it might spill out, but yeah, it did. I fully submerged the jeans. It already looks different, which is actually very exciting. Watch this work. I never like do a DIY project and it work, but I feel like today could be the day. So I'm pretty pumped about this. So we'll just leave her in here. See, this is why I sabotage myself because I'm like, oh, this is too hard. Ugh. Like when, you know, I wanna do something, I always am like, oh, it's too hard, I can't do that. And then I do it and like two minutes later, like it's it's done and I'm like, oh. While those jeans are dying, I'm gonna start painting. 
my jeans, my other jeans. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wing it, I'm gonna wing it. But because I don't really like the wash of the jeans, I think I need to do something like a big, almost like a big mural to cover up the, the color that I don't like. Okay, so I'm nervous because I know that like, if I fuck this up, like I kind of have one chance to do this right. I'm on my period and I just bled into my pants, I think. So, okay, I saw a bunch of inspo photos and I feel like what I kinda wanna do with this is like almost make it like, just like one big doodle. Like crazy colors, a statement piece. Although that is kind of scary because then I won't be able to wear them as much because if they're like a statement piece then I can't really wear them. You know what else I could do? Ah! I saw this one design um, online that was like, a bunch of smiley faces down one leg. I kind of like the smiley faces. God, first, first one here. No, ah! Oh my God, this is so terrifying. This isn't as scary as I thought. It's actually kind of going well. Or what if I just drew shapes all over my pants? I need to make up my damn mind, that's for sure. I am gonna do smiley faces all over the pants. The happy faces, and then on the other side, I do sad faces. Guys, how fucking awesome in, in a map tip is that? Anyway, while I'm doing this, we can talk about life and all of that. So basically, I've been waking up really early for some reason. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know like who hurt me, but I've been waking up at literally 6 a.m. And then like I try to go back to sleep because I'm like, that's not really good. Like it's not, there's no reason for me to be up this early. But then I end up like just staying up and then I'm like up really early and I don't know what to do with myself. So it's kind of nice though, because it's weird when you wake up early because then you realize like, wow, my house looks so different at this hour. I feel like I should start doing yoga considering my new hour of wake up. I feel like these could actually look really cool. Guys, if you have an old pair of jeans that you're, oh God, just kind of made the decision for me as to where that, that circle is gonna go. But anyway, if you have a pair of jeans where you're like, God, I don't know what to do with these. Like, I'm not, I'm not feeling them anymore. I don't like the wash, whatever. Give them a little revamp, paint them, see what happens. I saw a TikTok today on my For You page of somebody saying that they saw me one time out and about and that they saw me uh, pick a vagina wedgie. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about the emotional effects it's been having on me. I don't feel like this, I just don't know if I picture this happening, but alas, like this person said that it did and therefore I guess I have to believe them. I'm very disappointed in myself. Again, I don't know, like I, I really wish I could have seen a video or something to, if you have the video and you're watching this, please don't post it, I don't wanna know. Um, actually, send it over to me. It's like not what I was expecting when I, when I got on TikTok this morning, but but alas. Cool. It actually looks kind of good, guys. Emma not being negative about something that she created for once in her whole life. Wow. You know, I almost kind of like them with just circles, like not smiley faces. Like I kind of like just the circles. God, I'm already getting paint all over myself, which is not good because this stuff stains because it's for fabric, so. Good news. Um, what if I just painted like the whole leg one color? No, that would look bad. Ah, would it? I'm thinking that I like take the yellow and I brush it. It's also easy, like this is easy to do. Yeah, kind of like giving it like this like, oh, that actually looks kind of good. Does it look good though? This is scary and I do feel like I might regret it, but okay. I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm actually kind of impressed. Like they look like something that like, some like fucking hype beast would wear and it would be like really expensive. I kind of regret doing the polka dots now. Maybe I do turn them into smiley faces. You know what? This will take us to the next level. One down. I'm already regretting my decision. I think what I'm realizing is that I'm just not very good at drawing smiley faces. So actually, I think I'm gonna try to wipe them off. It's almost like it never happened. The smiley faces never happen. I'm gonna go set these outside to dry um, so I can work on the back. But for now, oh, they're unique. So it's time for us to take our jeans out of the dye. They look good, I guess. I mean, I don't know what they're supposed to look like, but okay, this is super off topic, but I wanna tell you a story. I've been seeing all this stuff on TikTok about this magic shaving powder. And that really interested me because I hate shaving and I love magic. I ordered this shit. It literally looks like it's vintage. And I tried it yesterday and I'm here to tell you that it didn't work for me, although I think I might have done it wrong. Everybody says that the product is great, so I kind of believe them over myself. I tend to fuck these things up. Look, this is pretty insane. They're black now. Oh, 
I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get these into the fucking washing machine because they're dripping, but then I realized it's called being handy. I'm on my period in a bad way right now. I, I'll talk about it in a sec, but it's not good. Oh, no. I am so frustrated. I just got black dye all over everything. Oh, see, in, oh my God, I stained it. I'm also bleeding into my pants. I'm gonna take a break from all of this. Uh, I'm absolutely beside myself, S just stress. But I'm gonna lay in bed for a while until all of these things are done. And I will, I'll see you on the flip. So I just put on the pants and I need to figure out where I'm gonna cut them because they're way too long. First, I'm gonna look in the mirror because I wanna see how much I like the design I did. Oh! These are really kind of interesting and cool. I really like the way I painted this leg. I kind of wish I would have just done that on both sides now, but it is in fact too late. I'm gonna cut them and I'll be back. I'm gonna cut them with no pants on, which is why I'm not gonna show it. I'm just gonna take them off, cut them, and then put them back on. So I don't wanna you to see my asshole. So much better now that they're cut. I will show you. As you can see, they're very, um, they're very unique. I do think the back's a little bit boring, so I think we should paint the back some with something, and then I think we'll be done. I kind of hate them, but I like them better than I did before. So, some of you at home are probably cringing um, right now, just being like, Emma, what the fuck did you do? Why'd you do that? I don't know, I, don't, I do not have an answer for you. Would I buy these if I saw them at the store? That is a question I don't have an answer to right now. I think if both sides were like this, then yes, I would purchase from the store. But because we also have this polka dot side, I'm feeling a lot of pain throughout my body. Before I make any more decisions, I'm gonna style these pants and see if I can do it. And if I can style them successfully and like it looks cool, I will leave them. And if not, I'm gonna need to reroute baby. Results are in. I don't think these pants are working. I think the problem is, I'm looking at them. They are like kind of cool. They are kind of cool though. God, am I okay? Should I leave them? I actually like them. I've decided I like them. I'm gonna keep them as is. I will do better on my next pair. I have another pair to, I think I would. Uh, I need to like spend like 20 minutes in my bed just like thinking about what I did and whether or not I like it. So see ya. I've made the decision that I actually like them. My other jeans just finished in the washer. They're about to make the bananini sound. Watch. Bananini, I swear to God, it's gonna happen. There it is. Let's see how these look. Interesting. I have no idea what color these are gonna look like once they're done in the dryer, so. Next pants are in the dryer. We'll work on those when they're done. For now, I, you know what I realized about these pants? If fucking, one of those like streetwear brands that like everybody's obsessed with, if one of those sold these pants, no one would question it. But because I made it, I'm like, this looks like a fucking toddler painted on it, which is exactly what it looks like. But I think that, that can work if nobody knows that I made them. Sadly, I will be posting this on the internet where everybody is gonna know that I made them. So it's gonna be like the kind of illusion is gonna be gone. Although I am gonna post a f picture on my story in them beforehand and see if I get any compliments. We'll keep you updated on that and we'll see you when it's time to uh, work on the next pair. Peace out. Jeans number two are out of the dryer. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I definitely don't think I wanna do something as bold as this other pair because um, I did maybe possibly ruin a perfectly fine pair of jeans. Although I already wore them and I posted them on my Instagram story to see what people would say about them and I did get some responses. I'll read what some people were saying. Before we even touch these, I am like still like so hyper-focused on these. Number one, somebody said, what is on your pants? Bad sign. That is not really what I was going for. Next comment said, I love the jeans. All right, so some people like it. Next person said, OMG, are your dream jeans thrifted or can I find them somewhere I'm in love with them? That's a good sign. Another one, did you paint those pants? That's not what I was going for. I did not want people to know that I painted them myself. I am feeling as though the polka dots may be going away, but they did have a little 
cute moment. I think with this pair, I'm gonna do nothing on the front and just draw on the pockets. I'm gonna take what I know here. Okay, I really like, I really like this kind of like, this like rough paint look. Not only do I like how it looks, but it was also extremely easy. So what I'm thinking is, I'm just gonna do on the back of the pants, all over, except for on the pockets. So the, and then on the front, I'm just gonna leave them normal. Or maybe I do the front, Am I gonna have another indecisive meltdown right now? I cannot believe this. I think I'm gonna do the pockets and the front, like red. That could be cool. Oh, that looks cool. It's really surprisingly easy and fun. So feel free to try this at home, guys. I'm gonna finish these and then I'll come back because you don't need to see me do this whole thing again. It's just not worth your time. I'm done painting, I'm done. I've decided that I'm done. Big changes have been made. First, I'm gonna show you my yellow pair. I have officially transformed them. I'll give you a close up. Basically, I added some darker yellow or yellow ochre, if you're in the art community, to the brighter yellow, and I'm calling these my Van Gogh pants. Kind of gives me the sunflower painting energy. So I'm excited about those. Um, I don't know if the paint's gonna be super stiff because I literally put six layers of paint on those pants. So hopefully the paint is flexible. We will soon find out. Look at my hands. God, I'm a true artist, runs in the family. Chamberlain Paintings, if you're watching this, hope you enjoy. But we also have this. These are scary to me. These are gonna be called my uh, period pants. It basically looks like black jeans with period blood all over them. I think that they actually could look really cool on. I really do feel like this is something I would buy from like a trendy little New York boutique. Um, to be honest, like I do feel like I would buy these. They are slightly frightening, but I'm excited to try them on tomorrow and see what they look like. So uh, I'm gonna play Fortnite and disappear into my bed for the rest of the day. And tomorrow we're gonna try these pants on, style them and see how I did. Great news, it's actually the same day. I'm so excited I just put together two outfits with the jeans. I think the jeans might be absolutely really ugly. So let's see. Let's see, big reveal, we'll rate them out of 10, we'll see how I did. Um, I'm nervous, but whatever. Guys, <laughs> I really like them. These are really cool. And I have this bag that's um, Van Gogh inspired. So like they're perfect with the pants. I'm really happy right now. I don't think I've ever done something creative and not hated it. <laughs> I'm giving these a 10 out of 10. You will see me wearing these. Often. These are a 10 out of 10. God bless. Feeling amazing right now. Let's see the other ones. We did it again. Two in a row. I did it. I did it. I transformed my pants from pants that I would never wear to pants that are now cool pieces in my closet that I would definitely pull from that I love. And you know what? This just made me feel so happy and good. Here's what I'm going to tell you. In this life, you know, Sometimes shitty things happen. You order two pairs of jeans. You're so excited. You don't like them. You can't return them. There's two options. Call the manager or you could paint your jeans. And that's a metaphor that I want you to take with you today. Emma not being negative. I don't know. This doesn't happen a lot. I have no artistic ability, okay? And I did this. And they turned out fucking cool. So, do what you want with that info. I'm really fucking excited. This is gonna inspire me. I, now I wanna like start making my own clothes. Not like sewing or anything. Anyway, what a fun day. What a great moment. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, making these jeans. If you guys try this out and like try to paint your own jeans or whatever and do it similar to how I did it or not, whatever, let me know, send me photos. I'm really curious to see if other people do this. Oh my God, it was so fun. God, I actually have had fun for the first time. God, I'm, no, it, it is literally allergies, but it does look like I'm crying. Um, or maybe I am. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. I actually don't know if I'm crying or not. I literally can't tell, so I'm just gonna blame it on allergies. Anyway, that was really fun. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for always being the people that I can come to and try new things with. I love you all so much. You're all very beautiful and awesome. And, uh, have the best day, and... I'm out! Ew, my tongue is kind of not looking its best. I don't think that looks so good.